uh, as I mentioned, uh, this proof uh, is not correct. Okay, but uh, what's the correct proof for this problem? Uh, we could not apply the green theorem because f is not differentiable. Uh, uh, the idea is simple. We use the the computation uh, formula for flux integral. Okay, we know let's call that uh, the flux integral. Uh, if the C has a parametrization, the flow integral is just p x t y t x prime t plus q x t y t y prime t d t. Uh, this is the computational formula for the flux integral. Of course, the flux integral has an uh, orientation for the curve. Suppose when t uh, increasing from a to b, uh, then the, the, the point x, t, y, t uh, uh, traveled on the curve, say, in the, uh, uh, in the indicated uh, direction, then uh, the flux integral, a uh, flow integral, is just this definite integral. And if the the it travel on the uh, reverse direction, then you just add a minus sign in this integral. So this is positive minus. The the sign of the the sign positive or minus in front of the integral uh, on the right hand side depend on the orientation. Okay. So this is the the formula uh, uh, for computing the flow integral in two-dimensional space. In higher dimension, the result we have a general result which is also which has also been mentioned in our previous lecture when we introducing flow integral. Flow integral of a vector field ah uh, this is defined to be the line integral of the inner product of f of the vector field with the unit tangent vector so this is the path say the unit tangent vector tau so you integral from this direction you take a, a tangent unit tangent vector along the curve that is tau uh, uh, in the uh, which the direction coincide with the orientation of C, then uh, the the flow integral is is just uh, the usual line integral of the inner product of f and the tau. Okay, and uh, we also have the result positive negative a b. Gamma t. If C is the curve, x equal to gamma t, t in a b. Okay. Uh, so in our case, in our two-dimensional case, uh, f is maybe I write in red. F is p q. Uh, p and q are two variable functions because we are in two-dimensional space. And uh, the curve gamma t, gamma t is x t y t. So f gamma t, p gamma t is p x t y t here. And uh, gamma prime, gamma prime is x prime t y prime t. So the inner product of f which is gamma prime is p x prime plus q y prime. Here x, y need to substitute which x, t and y, t. So this is this uh, equality. Okay. So using this equality, we can give a correct proof of our this example. Uh, that is um, because f is continuous. So uh, we can take the antiderivative. 
of f. Uh, this is denoted by capital F. Then f x square plus y square x dx plus y dy. Uh, using this formula, I will just uh, explain here uh, the the flow integral of p dx plus q dy along the path. See uh, the formula we just uh, uh, discussed. Uh, so this is suppose say suppose say is the curve given by x equal xt, y equal yt, for t in the interval a, b, in the right orientation, then uh, this is a, b. F, maybe I have no space to write, because I will write a long formula. So this is a, b. F, x square plus y square t. Then x prime t plus y prime t. Dt. Oh, sorry, I forgot something. X t x prime t plus y t y prime t then dt. The xt come from the x here, and the x prime t come from dx, similarly for y, okay? But uh, a closer look at this, you will see that this is just the, the parcel, the de derivative of this and a half. This expression, this expression is precisely half of the derivative of this expression, capital F, which x squared t plus y squared t. By the chain rule, uh, uh, the, this, this derivative is capital F prime and uh, x squared plus y squared prime uh, by the chain rule. But uh, capital F prime is small f. Uh, x square plus y square prime is twice of x x prime plus y y prime. Okay, so this is just uh, the integral in the previous step. So we have this result. Okay, now from this by the uh, by the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus, ah, uh, this would be. This is the derivative. This is the integral of the derivative of a function. By the fundamental theorem of calculus, this equals this function uh, at the, the difference of this function, uh, the difference of the value of the function at the end point of the interval. Okay? But because I would say it's a closed curve, we know that x a equal x b, y a equal y b. When a and when t equal to a and t equal to b, the the curve is the same point uh, on, along the curve. So this when t equal to a, you travel. When t increase, you travel. At the end, when t equal to b, you go back to the initial point. The end point and the, the initial point coincide. So, uh, so this give us zero because this quantity are the same. Uh, it, it, this quantity take the same value when t equal to a and t equal to b. Uh, therefore, the result is zero. So this is the correct proof of this uh, problem. In our next question, uh, we need some. Uh, very, we, we use we need a very useful uh, formula uh, which has already been used in my uh, sketch of the proof of my proof of the change of variable formulas uh, in uh, a video before okay uh, but this although we have not proved that um, but we use that because the proof is quite simple but uh, I had better uh, uh, demonstrate the proof for you here. So this is a 
proposition. This is not a question in our uh, this set of exercises, but uh, this proposition is very useful. Let omega be open in Rn. And f is a vector valued function or vector field defined over omega. And u is a continuously differentiable function defined on omega. Then, what's this? u multiplying f is a new vector field uh, generalized from the given vector field capital F and the given function u. Uh, the component of this vector field uf is uf1 ufn, right? This is a new vector field defined also on omega to rn. Okay? Then our conclusion is that the diversion of this vector field is diversion. Diversion is the given a vector field. The diversion is a scalar function. Okay? This scalar function is obtained by taking partial derivative of the components of the vector field. Uh, but uh, we have the formula for this uh, uh, result. This is, uh, you want to general get a scalar, a real number, then you use the gradient of u. This is a vector. Making inner product, which f will give you a quantity, a scalar, a real number. Okay? Then plus u, Divergence of f. A divergence of f is a scalar. Ah, it's a number. Therefore, multiplying u, it is also a number. So the right hand side is the sum of the full number. So this is the formula I want to show you. Ah, uh, we, we we use this in our proof of the change of variable formula, and uh, I we will also need this formula for the questions in our later examples. Ah, therefore I I, I take this time to give a proof of this. Uh, the proof is quite simple. Uh, proof. Just uh, using the definition. By definition, the diversion of this is the sum of the uh, partial derivative of the corresponding component of the vector field. Ah, uh, the divergence of a vector field is the the is the uh, sum of the partial derivative of the component, the ith component, which x i. So the ith component of our u f is u uh, f i. So you take the uh, partial derivative of u f i, which is back to x i. Uh, then for i from one to n. You sum up all the results. This gives you the divergence. This is by definition. This is the definition of the div diversion. But now this partial derivative, we can apply the product law to get i from 1. Uh, this is u taking derivative multiplying fi plus u the partial derivative of fi. Okay, but now the sum of this, the sum of this is just the gradient of u which f in the product, because the i's component of the gradient of u is just the partial derivative which is back to x i for u. Okay, so we have this result, and uh, the 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 second term, you move the u out of the summation, that is the sum of the partial derivative of xi which is back to xi. So this is u plus multiplying the diversion of f. So this this gives us the deserved uh, equality. Ah, uh, we need this in our uh, uh, in more than maybe one or two of all the questions uh, later.